Don't get it twisted. Getting a rash on your genitals doesn't mean you are allergic to semen. It could be as a result of some infection. It could be as a result of some reactions or irritations from the product you use. Generally, individuals are not allergic to sperm. What they are allergic to is the protein that is found in the semen, not the sperm itself. For some people, sex does not end in love and closeness. It ends with burning, inching, swelling, or even trouble breathing. What should have ended in a happy moment suddenly turns into fear. I never knew this existed until my last live section where someone dropped this comment and it talks about semen allergy, allergy to sperm. And that made me to do my little research to know about sperm allergy. Good day everyone and welcome to Nurses Lecture Room. On this particular video, we are going to be talking about sperm allergy. All you have to do is to stay to the end and watch this video because this topic, the discussion, the whole of it is definitely going to surprise you. So the first question is, what is the semen allergy? A semen allergy is also known as seminal plasma hypersensitivity. It is a rare allergic reaction to the protein found in the semen. It usually occurs in any area that comes in contact with the semen, though it is usually around the genital area. So when it comes to semen allergy, people mistake it for sperm allergy. Generally, individuals are not allergic to sperm. What they are allergic to is the protein that is found in the semen. You know the semen is made up of different things. So the proteins that is found in the semen is what they are actually allergic to, not the sperm itself. So that is the difference between sperm allergy and semen allergy. For the course of this video, I'm going to say that we have two types of semen allergy. We have the localized semen allergy and the systematic semen allergy. When it comes to the localized semen allergy, as the name implies, it simply means that the area that is affected is where the sperm comes in contact with. So if the sperm comes in contact with the genital area, you start seeing things like swelling, inching, and burning. It is localized within that area. But when it comes to systemic allergy to sperm, as the name implies, it's affecting the full body, the full system in the body. And that can result in difficulty with breathing. It can result in swelling of the lips, swelling in the mouth. And in some severe cases or serious cases, it can result in anaphylactic reactions. And that is not something pleasing. This allergy can develop suddenly. It can occur the first time you have sex without protection. And these symptoms of semen allergy resembles that of vaginal infection or skin allergy. So let's dive into the symptoms one is going to face when they have semen allergy. The symptoms include inching, redness, swelling, hives, Yes, you heard me right. Hives, difficulty with breathing, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and in serious cases, in severe cases, anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock is very rare, so don't get scared. Usually, symptoms begin within 30 minutes of exposure, or sometimes it can take hours or days for you to start seeing the symptoms. And you may want to ask, who are those at risk of going down with this semen allergy. There's no particular set of people that are at risk of going down with semen allergy. If you are having unprotected sex, we can say you are at risk of going down with semen allergy. Don't get it twisted. Getting a rash on your genitals doesn't mean you are allergic to semen. It could be as a result of some infection, it could be as a result of some reactions or irritations from the product you use. So semen allergy can actually be tested when you use do a skin test. A skin test can be done to know if you are allergic to semen. 
So don't get it twisted. Don't say, oh, I have rashes. That simply means I have semen allergy. No. So the next question is, can semen allergy cause fungal infection? The answer is semen does not cause fungal infection. That's the straight answer. Then the other question is, can semen allergy affect pregnancy? Semen allergy does not cause infertility. I know you might be thinking, oh, I'm allergic to semen. How will I get pregnant whenever this sperm comes? I get inching, I get burning, I get irritation. What can I do? In such cases, most times the, your healthcare practitioner might tell you or might advise you to get the sperm washed off, like they take off the proteins from the semen before putting it using intrauterine insemination or using a IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. They might give you these options when it comes to trying to get pregnant. Then another question I got is, can I be allergic to swallowing semen? If you're having a semen allergy, you can be allergic to swallowing it. Because like I earlier said in the beginning, semen allergy, like it happens when semen comes in contact with you. It could be your genitals, it could be your mouth, it could be your skin. So some people can swallow semen and have allergic reaction to it. So that takes us to the diagnosis and test that can be done to determine if one has semen allergy. Remember we said that semen allergy can have symptoms similar to vaginal infection, vaginitis, and skin allergy. So when it comes to the testing, skin test has to be done. But before the skin test have to be done, I believe the doctors are going to rule out any form of infection, any form of um, allergic reactions around compared to the semen. So before they do that skin test. And also they might advise you having sex with the use of condoms so if you notice that when you have sex with the use of condoms you don't experience any allergic reaction but if you have sex without the use of condom and the semen gets in contact with you you experience this allergic reaction that could be a sign that you might be having semen allergy then the other thing is that when you use lubricants you use spermicide during sexual intercourse that could be the result of those allergy you see that could be the result of those inching and burning sensation you could be allergic to the lubricants you could be allergic to the spermicide that are using during sex so it's not just like semen allergy you have to actually analyze the things around what you are doing what you are using those things might be what is causing those allergy you are having with sex and your laundry detergent is not left out what are you using to wash your undies that could be causing that irritation you are having there like i will always advise lady generally when it comes to sex when it comes to your sexual health when it comes to your reproductive system be careful what you put down there Yes, be careful what you put down there because that can actually alter the pH of the vagina, making it um, prone to more fungal infection, more thrush infection. So in terms of the treatment, I think before I go to the treatment, I would like to tell you that it is possible for men to be allergic to their own sperm. There is a name for it. I think I'm going to drop it down. I've forgotten the name. So it is possible for men to be allergic to their own sperm. So if you hear that, don't be surprised also. Then that takes us to the treatment. What are the treatments available for semen allergy? The first treatment is if you can stay away from contact with the semen. And I believe or it might be impossible for you to do it away without sex. It might be impossible for you not to have sex. So if you want to have sex, you can try using the condom. So the condoms might capture the semen and might not make the semen come in contact with your genitals and cause that irritation so avoid contact with the semen that is the first um treatment plan then the second thing could be medications yes you can have some antihistamine medications to prevent to help with the allergic reactions that are likely going to come after encountering semen so antihistamine medications can help they will also have something called desensitizing in which a um, little amount of sperm is introduced gradually into the vagina so the vagina gets used to it gradually so they do it little by little like it's more or less like exposure technique i'll call it for example if you are scared of snakes they start exposing you to snake gradually to build your confidence about snake or something so that's what uh that desensitizing is all about and if you are trying to conceive they might do the sperm wash where they remove all those proteins that you are allergic to and they use the method of iui to insert the sperm back into the vaginal 
or IVF might also be another method when it comes to getting pregnant. So personally, I would advise you if you notice anything strange within your vagina or as a man, you notice that you are allergic to your own sperm and you are deeply concerned about it. What I advise you to do is to speak with your healthcare professional for personalized advice. This is just a video explaining what semen allergy is, but should not be replaced by what your doctors give you. All right. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video on semen allergy. If you've been following, you've not liked this video, you've not subscribed and you've not turned on the notification bell, I will advise you do so now because you're going to be getting more interesting videos Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.